Hi, hello uh, everyone. Back for some more. Um, this uh, episode series I have here, um, I sold my uh, other uh, table saw, which was right here, um, just because I want to build a new one, have one set up and everything. So, anyways, <clears throat> here we go. Uh, this is a uh, 10 inch, which works great with uh, my other uh, 10 inch sliding miter saw, uh, 15 amp. Uh, just also happens to be the same amperage of my uh, sliding miter saw as well. So, uh, what I like is I can probably uh, interchange blades with uh, the table saw and the miter saw. So, that's kind of useful. Anyways, that's what it looks like. That's the stand, or that's the uh, the table saw. What it looks like here. And uh, let me see. Here's some information on it. Okay. So comes with the blade, blade included, but no stand. So I had to go and purchase a stand for it, and that's what the stand looks like right there. And so I'll be uh, deboxing this and putting it together uncut, um, unedited, first person view, just, you're seeing it just like how I'm seeing it. So, um, of course, uh, I've uh, read the manual before, and that always helps if you can read the manual before, before you get the product. And, uh, alright, here we go. Um, strapping you onto my holster. Strap to, or to strap to my chest here. Okay, we get to rocking and rolling here. That's kind of, kind of warm these days. Uh, so I've gotten, uh, took off my little hoodie here, and so now you see me with uh, my arms down here. So anyway, so let's take a look. Oh, you're about to fall out. Here it is. Um, universal stand. Okay. Apparently, this stand can be used for anything. Um, anything that fits on top of it, anyway. It supports about 500 pounds. Uh, read some of the reviews. Some say it's pretty flimsy. Others say, you know, if you attach the plywood here and on top, it's pretty solid, and then. Uh, you add some feet to the bottom, uh, it's pretty sturdy. Uh, I have a, a welder, so this little welding cart that I made, also my little welding table. Um, there's my, the welder being down here, and uh, of course it's a MIG style, but it's just a Flux core only, it doesn't require any gas. So I'll be having fun with that. Alright, so let's take a let's have some fun now. Let's see what we can do here. So what do we got? Well let, uh, let's do uh, let's do the stand first. I need something to to rest on, the table salt to rest on. Tilly knife here. Ah, maybe we don't need one. We don't need one for this. So let me. One day I'm gonna make a little. You know my my other table saw. I I kind of had uh, built a sliding uh, sled on it, um, and it also doubled as a nice table. So, um, without it, I mean, I'm kind of without a table right now. So, I have to just get on my knees and uh, just do this here. Uh, see if I can. So, let's see what we can 
can do here. Okay, that one's done. That one's done, and uh, let's get this one out. Okay, that one's done. All right. You're seeing it live, just the way I'm seeing it. Okay. And there we go. You know when I when I saw the display on this, I uh, it looked you know it's pretty big. But you got to realize there's a bunch of empty space, and I was looking for the box, and uh, had uh, one of the um, employees over there help me look for it. And they were looking all over the place, and they thought, just like I thought, that this was going to be like a huge box, um, and it's in this tiny little small little box. So, so if you go looking for this, don't don't look for a huge box because it's not that big. Especially when it's all knocked down and you gotta put it together. Alright, so uh, leg parts. Okay. Hmm, pretty solid. It's a little bit different than the stand, but uh, the stand I saw at the display, maybe it's an improved version of it. Sometimes I get the ones they have on the display are a little old. And the manual. Okay. Excellent. What else have we got here? Um, let's see what else is here. Uh, more legs, I believe. Yeah. More legs. These are all legs in here. Okay, the rest of it's just just the legs. And then, uh, okay, your bags of nuts and uh, nuts and screws so bags of nuts and screws here okay and it looks like you need a whole bunch of them and then uh, the rest of it's just the uh, just the legs oh. so let's get those out okay well, that's that's that put that aside here Okay. Uh, these are must be the sides here. Okay. Well, well, that's that's it right there. Um, that's that's all you get. So, you know, for for the amount of money that I paid for this, and um, I was considering making my own stand. Um, getting some uh, 16 gauge, I guess this is 16 gauge that, and getting some uh, angle brackets or whatever these are called, angle iron. Um, I think they come in 10 foot or 12 foot or something like that. Uh, and the cost of you know cutting them, painting them, um, drilling the holes. Uh, I, I, I just took a chance on just, I like to do things myself, but I said, what the heck, let's just do this. You know, let me, let me at least do it once, and uh, if it works out, then I might just copy this damn thing and make one myself, you know, so someone else came with the design and everything, <laughs> why don't I just go ahead and just, you know, copy it. Anyways, so, plus it gives me something to review and do a, a video on. So, there we go. So, let's, let's take a quick look at the manual and see what the manual says what to do. Okay. Universal tool stand.
All right, assembling tool stand. So I guess they want you to do the feet first. Okay. And it's adjustable height, so I guess you can play around with that height. Uh, I'll just put it on the lowest right now and then uh, figure out how high I want it. And then put the middle bracing in, okay. And then the top brace. Okay, bottom, bottom brace and top brace is what they're calling it. Okay. And apparently you, you have plywood. They recommend plywood, which is not included, obviously. Um, I don't think you could uh, put plywood in here, and if you did, it, uh, I'd be amazed. Okay. Uh, and then they give you the uh, dimensions to drill the holes, which can be possible, I guess. And luckily, I just happen to have... I might have some plywood. I just might. I just might have some plywood. Let me see what kind of plywood did they say. They don't even really say. Just say plywood. So okay. And uh, looks like that's all they have to say about that. Those are mainly the directions, and then the assembly diagram. Looks like all the nuts and washers are all the same. Um, Thing, looks like they come together with the nut and the washer. And it's just a screw bolt. Um, okay. Alright. I wonder how many times I'm going to strip one of these uh, screws here. Or these screw bolts. Okay. Well, alright. Very uninformative. But uh, it's always good to have this if something I missed. Very good. Just throw that right up here. All right. So there's the feet. The feet is here. Okay, so I got feet. Angled. Angle, angle. So one, two, three, four. Okay. It's black. Kind of like the color. I'm going to need a lot of these. I wonder if there's enough in here. Um, we'll find out. Okay, so let's take this and let's see which ones are the tops and which ones are the angles. Okay. So... Sure, what, what these are. Maybe they're the same or there's a size difference. I'm sure the bottom ones are going to be longer, so the bottom ones are longer. So you want to make a note that the bottom braces are longer than the top braces, so let's not have it the other way around. Okay, so we'll put these as uh, bottom braces here to the side. These are these are going to be your top brace. Put that, and put that to the side. Make a mental note of that if I can remember. My memory is getting. These look like. Uh, these look like bottom braces, and then. Ooh, that's more bottom braces. I got more bottom braces for some reason. I got four bottom braces. Uh, or maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. This seems this seems a little smaller, so maybe they're top, this is a top brace. Part of the top brace. And uh I don't know. No. Okay, I've gotta figure this out now. You know, it's, they got stickers on them, so this is probably part of the top, top brace right here. And since this is the smallest here, uh, this is probably the part of the top brace. So I guess I got to remember these, the, the stand is not a square, complete square. It's more of a, a rectangle-ish 
So these are the two longest out of all of them with nothing on them, no stickers or any indication. So these are probably the bottom braces. So hey, using my brain. Isn't that amazing to think some people waste their brains away doing drugs and drinking alcohol and playing video games. Okay, so I got, uh, looks like I got four. Excellent. Okay, so I just gotta figure out which one's the top, which one's the bottom. So I think the ones with the mini holes here, if you can see that. These with the mini holes here probably on the bottom so you can adjust it or, or am I right let's just check that manual let's check the manual again oh. should leave it out of the bag let's refer to good old Manuel what does Manuel say? According to this picture, it looks like the four, the bottom two holes go into the top two holes of the leg brace, or, or the leg extension foot. So uh, you must use the, I guess the other ones are being used to brace the, uh, the other parts of the uh, leg here. Okay. Okay. All right, since we got that figured out, let's take a look at what we can do. So let's open this up. We're going to need a whole bunch of these. Try not to lose them. Okay. I'm just going to spread some out. There we go, spread some out. I don't want to make this hole too big just in case I kick it or knock it or something like that. They'll all be in the bag. So what do I need? I need a... Oh, let's bring our tools out here. Let's grab one of these and figure out what I need. Um, Do some house cleaning here. Okay. All right. So let's see what we've got here. Uh, oh yeah, you know I forgot to use guys just to change the blade. Oh, that's alright. That's alright. Um, probably gonna need this. Let's see if this fits. Oh, it fits a little too snug, is it? What do you know? This is this is what I need. Um, of course, I can't use both of those. And uh, I use this. Looks like I'm going to be in a little tight space, so uh, use this to hold. Use this to to turn the nut, or vice versa. We'll do that. We'll give that a shot. Socket wrench there. 
I need the adapter. I do need the adapter. I do need the adapter. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay. Okay, I think I'm good. I'm ready to go. So these are basic t the tools of choice that I'm picking out here. Um, I could probably use some power tools, but you know what? Most people won't have power tools, and so uh, maybe some people don't even have a socket. But oh well, they'll have to just buy one. Okay. Okay. So. All right. There we go. All right. So let's start putting some some of these together now. With one leg. I'll just randomly pick. Leg. I guess uh, I'm just gonna pick two. Pick two of these. Pick the bottom. The bottoms here. And uh, I'm wondering how they want the nut. They want the nut on the. They want the washer. Do they want the washer to be on the outside or the on the inside? Let's see how they. How they would explain it here. Okay, they want the washer to be on up against the nut. So they want you to wash the nuts. All right. Okay, so. So basically, screw goes out, nuts goes in. Once you get the first one in, it should be pretty darn easy after that. Okay. So, hopefully everyone can see that. Alright. Maybe I'll work on the table. Or, no, sorry. My makeshift table. Yep. Alright. Alright, so I got that in. And then I just have to... And tighten that little lock nut. Looks like it has a little rubber piece at the end of it, and so you got to really prevent it from coming out. It's one of those lock nuts with some kind of nylon on it, so which is good. Now, if you get bored at any time, feel free to just. Fast forward through everything. I wouldn't blame you. Because this is boring. It's almost watching paint dry. Which I do have a an episode, a series episode of regarding uh, spray painting with latex. If you want to watch something like that, that's really watching paint dry. So, anyways, where's my tools in between my legs? Tools in between my legs. Okay. So now that I got that, let's see here. Probably don't want it that set up that way. There we go. And let's see if this works. Oh, goodness. I'm going to strip these damn things. I can already feel it. I might need another... Uh, I can already feel myself stripping these things. Uh, let's get, my, get another bit here. Um, let's see here. 
when I saw those screws, I, I said to myself, you know what, uh, I wonder why they made them into screws, and not into something like, uh, something else where it's more, a little bit more useful. Anyways, uh, when you do this, you might, wa you might want to change your, your bit here to kind of maybe go into these things a little bit better. Yeah, this, this is gripping a little bit better. What number is this? Oh, that's in Phillips 2. But this is also a Phillips. Oh, that's a Phillips 1. That's probably why. Okay. So go ahead and just grab your regular Phillips 2, but it should be a Phillips 2 as well. Yeah, that's a little bit, a little bit bigger. All right, never mind. So let's see how it goes now. Let's see how it does now. Uh, still, yeah, still, because of that nylon at the end of that lock nut, I mean, it's, it's pretty tight all the time. And uh, if I were you guys, uh, try to avoid a power tool. I mean, it could be tempting because you, you think you do it faster, but at the same time, doing this with the hand screw and I'm already you know feel like I've stripped that already um, well it's on there and I know it's not gonna come off which is good I guess because uh, if you uh, ever work with these power tools uh, they cause a lot of vibration and it can you can just easily just vibrate the screws right off or the bolts right off um, and, a, and a funny story I had a the, the previous table saw the handle which raises and lowers the uh, like like this part of the other table saw um, there's a little screw right in the middle and when I was one day I was turning it while it was on, I was trying to make a little cut uh, in the middle of a piece of plywood. Um, this handle just came right off because the screw in the middle here just vibrated right off. It spun right off, and I was amazed. But so they cause a lot of vibration. So I guess it's good to have this. Just be careful when you screw them in because man. You don't want to. You don't want to strip the stuff. Okay. So once it gets tight, I think you can kind of screw, start screwing this in on the back. Apply a little pressure here. So use your socket wrench to apply, apply the pressure from the back and that should keep it just in there really tight. Well, I hope, uh, hopefully I didn't make it too tight because uh, I did want to see if I can adjust it, but, but that's just your information. What I might do is just uh, not tighten it as tight as this one, but uh, just to get it on. And you know what, you can probably just get away right now with just putting one on um, because it, it just seems to work really well right now. Okay, so that's one done. Three more to go. Unedited, uncut. Yeah. So now I got an idea what to do. Uh, I could probably do this much, much faster now, which is good. That way you will. You all won't get bored now, or you might. You might even get even more bored because it's so easy to do. 
you like putting stuff together, I know you're going to stay tuned and watch this whole thing. You're not going to skip one beat. But if you're the type that, you know, wants instant gratification, uh, have no patience, all that, you know, all that bad stuff. Can't appreciate a good, good do-it-yourself, you know, mentality. Then, yeah, you're probably gonna, you're probably gonna exit out of this video and watch something else like Fred or uh, what else does my daughter watch? My Little Pony. Um, uh, I don't know. Whatever kid stuff. That's probably what you're going to be watching. Which is cool. I understand. Because when my daughter watches me doing this, she gets so bored. She rolls her eyes and goes, Oh, I'm so bored. <clears throat> Alright, so far it's... Looks like it's going good so far. You know, so far. Anyways. It just, it just, you know, I just might leave it like that, or, you know, I'll put it on enough to have the, have the lock nut engage into the nylon, that way it won't spin off of me. And apply good pressure when you turn the, the screws here. You're not just spinning and stripping out this stuff. There we go. That's kind of all I want because, you know, it's just, I don't know if how high I want it, but I just want enough to put it together. So that's, that's two. All right, I'm working on three here. Man, we are just moving at breakneck speed. Next thing you know, you're just gonna, I'm gonna have this thing just all put up. You'll be like, huh? Who? What? So if, you, if you're sleeping through this right now, you're, you'll probably wake up at the end wondering how amazed how fast I did it. Or not. Remember, the screw goes outside, then the washer, and then the lock nut. Man, this could only be done that fast, fast as I said it. That'd be just awesome. Anyways, try to get comfortable when you do this, and uh, you probably won't be using gloves, but I'm such a sissy. I just got to have my gloves on, because, you know, my wife, she likes my soft hands, and uh, I like my soft hands on my wife as well, so... That's why I wear these gloves, if you all want to know. So all you guys out there who have uh, very rough, rigid, callous hands, uh, just some advice if you ever want to, you know, if you have a wife or if you don't, um, would you like to get one or maybe a girlfriend or be with another woman? Or wear some gloves. Keep your hands nice and soft. I'm just saying, you don't have to. You can just keep them calloused, rough, and everything. Yeah, that's fine. It doesn't make them. Doesn't make a difference to me anyway. So just don't touch my wife. Just joking. Just having some fun with y'all. All right. All right. There we go. 
go. Like I said, just just trying to get it in there long, good enough to engage the uh, lug nut. That's all I want it to do. Just have it in there long, good enough to, to engage the lug nut because it's gonna, it's gonna be there pretty sturdy. You know, just trying to just enough just to put it there. Now put one on the other side, but. Let's just put those on so I can just get the dang thing up, up and running. Let's get it up and running. All right, last part, last part. You know, if I, now that I think about it, this ain't of such a bad design. It's just very universal, steady, um, easy to adjust. You can't go wrong. I mean, it's like it's like putting a, a square into a square hole and putting a, a circle into a round hole. I mean, it's how hard can it be? But uh, you know, it can't be that hard if I'm doing it. it. Cannot be that hard if I'm doing it, right? that hard if I'm doing it at all. I'll be done in this no time. There we go. So we got uh, we got four of these now. Four of the legs, and then uh, we'll just put on the uh, the bases and. Uh, yeah, we're rocking and rolling here. Let's see, let's see if I can get creative and do something that'll let me, you know, look smart. Wow, that might have made me look smart. Anyways, uh, I think we want to put two this side, two on the other side. See how to, how's this going to be done? I think they go on the inside. Or they go on the inside like this. No, these are a little angled. So it looks like they, they're meant to go on to the side. So. These two are the same, and then these two are, let's see which one's longer. Okay, so, so this is a little longer, this is shorter, so, anyways, make sure you, when you do this, you got one going this way and the other one kind of going the other way, so when you do those, they'll, they'll work that way. So, obviously, uh, where do I want this thing? I think you got to put it at the first top two. Okay. So let's let me see if I can screw one in here. Put the other one up on. Okay. Okay. So let's let's see if I can do this. All right. So I'm just going to take one of the other legs. 
I just wanted to see what it looked like. All right, so with that in mind, let's see what I can do here.